Today it's all about crabs, and no, not the fun kind. We're talking about the ones that come with machine guns and kill everything in front of them. Now to start, I've touched this health totem twice. There's a 50% chance to double your health and 50% to cut it in half. I did that twice and ended up with 800 health. So I figured we'd just keep rolling from there because I already feel invincible. And here we have a rare weapons mod. Shots deal more damage but recoil is heavily increased. I can compensate for that. So damage went up by 33%. So in saying that, we're going to go this way. This is a challenge arena but we get a better chest at the end. It eats up 33% of our health. So now that I think about it, that maybe wasn't a wise choice. But you're not here for wise choices. Anyone who has any wisdom at all is nowhere near me or my life. Uh, the extra damage seems pretty nice. Island is clear. We took 5 damage, but we're going to have to sacrifice a lot to open this chest. I don't even have enough health to open that because I increased my maximum health, but I didn't actually get any health to heal myself. So we're going to do the spike strikes challenge. We're going to get a 2 times damage chest at the end of this if we survive. And spoiler alert, we're going to. I have lots of damage. Uh, they fire spikes uh, around them in AoE when they die, so I got to be careful not to let them get close. But as long as I sit over here and fire my high damage machine guns, I think we're going to be just fine. It's not my first soiree with crabs and it won't be the last. Oh, there's a big purple one. Aren't you scary? Uh, I think I have grenades too. Yep, sure do. Not very good with them yet. Grenade? Okay, that thing's dead. They're all gonna die. And then easy. We have 168 of 800 health. Do I, do I get both of these? Oh, this was totally worth it. Let's go with shots deal more damage, but are heavier. And maybe damage increase for each equipped armor plate. I'll be honest with you, I don't know what armor plates are, but they're probably something I'm gonna need. Okay, I know I can't uh, open the chest at the end of that, so we're gonna get some health. I'm a victim of my own success. Horde, survive the horde of enemies. Yes, I'll do my very best. So far, they're not posing much of a challenge. They just explode when I hit them. The controls on this are so wonderfully smooth. Even just that is very enjoyable. I think I need more explosives. That way, uh, I can just explode them all at once. It's very in inefficient firing this little machine gun. Or I just need so much damage they evaporate. Don't touch me. I'm gonna be happy to get some extra health though. Nothing here has hurt me that badly, but I'm quite sure some things can. Like, I don't even know what that was. There's a giant gooey explosion nearby. And it wasn't because of me for once. You know, these are supposed to be rare, but they're all rare. Chance for enemies to drop health pickups when eliminated. Sounds kind of good to me. I kill a lot of idiots and um, they're going to heal me. Now we go to the shop. If you've ever wondered where crabs do their shopping, it's here. And there's lots of heals over here in the healing swamp. 400 HP and I get to pick what to buy. The result are also health regenerates over time when on an active island for up to 30 seconds. I'm going to get that because I think that's going to make me tanky enough to destroy pretty much the world. Okay, since we're pushing health anyway, max health and increased after every 10 one-shot eliminations. I don't know how many of those I'm gonna get, but I'm hoping eventually we can turn it into damage. Okay, we're going elemental chest on this one. Tropical biome arena. We're gonna kill the pufferfish, the crab, and we're not gonna stop until everything is absolutely dead. Okay, there's some new enemies here that I didn't see before. They're gonna pose a little bit more challenge. And there's also an awful lot of crabs coming to- oh, never mind. I don't know what happens a lot in this, but I'm just along for the ride. Okay, the fire rings are bad. Don't touch those. Okay, these guys are actually quite dangerous, especially if I'm under here because I ragged all around. One of big boys is dead, two of big boys are dead, and this guy's hardly been hurt. Where's all my health pickups? And he's dead. Did I see these fine gentlemen? Island 6 cleared. I lost some health on that one, but we did survive ultimately. Let's go with shots shock enemies. We're now doing lightning damage as well. Damage chest or a chest containing an upgrade to your existing loot. These are both so good. Uh, let's go for straight up more damage. Upgrades will get here when they get here. I am hitting for 38 on critical hits. We'll see if we can turn that into like six figures by the end of this, but I'm not sure what we can do yet. Okay, stop hitting me with that. You really got to keep moving in this. A mobile crab is a safe crab. Let's finish off him. Okay, the key for these guys is seems to be stay a long ways away from them because they don't want to hit you from very far away. Big enemies are definitely going to be the problem, which is why we got more damage. Damage increased to distant enemies. I'll take that all day long. Then we need to survive a horde with our 300 HP, but if enemies are far away, that's doing 44 damage. I'm just going to run around jumping a lot. There's some heals finally. We've probably been getting heals all along. It's a little hard to see in the crab chaos. Okay, I'm starting to see more and more healing. Uh, levels like this are going to be good because there's lots of crabs, so that means lots of heals potentially. We can need to survive the horde for... I don't know where the timer is. A little while longer. 30 seconds. I could probably actually uh, get a surplus of health on these levels because if they're just basic idiot crabs like this and my shock attacks work, we'll get lots of heals. Not when that happens. Island's done. We landed at 387 health. We took some and got some. Damage increase for a short time after eliminating an enemy. Yes. We just need to go enemy after enemy back to the shop. Where we're going to pick up ample heals. And there's epic upgrades here today. Most of which are boring. So we're going to take silver armor. Gain two armor plates to reduce elemental damage. Protect combo and we'll block one hit. Whatever. Okay, I'm also going to take spark shot. 
Shots create a burst of damaging sparks on impact, mostly because it's epic, and I have to assume those are going to be better. Uh, we have more epic. Damage increased by 1% for every 1,000. Gain additional armor plates each time you pick up armor. That's probably going to be helpful because I'm starting to get hit more. Do I do more damage yet? Yeah, my DPS is going up into the thousands, potentially, if my sparks go off. Elite! Defeat the elite enemy. He's far away, so we're off to a good start. Yeah, take that, stupid. Oh, that looks scary. Oh, it's just a bunch of bouncy balls. What an idiot. I'm a crab, stupid. Bouncy balls don't matter to me. Okay, that actually kind of hurt. We're got to back up a little. Little bit and keep them way over there where we're happier i think we're actually healing on something i'm not sure what i think this might actually be the easiest island i've had so far as long as he's staying way over there i'm fairly safe except for now well this isn't a good spot to be okay we're gonna move out of here and got him with 667 hp and three chests one of which looks epic is there something after epic because i would like to see chests contain more loot choices to choose from yes there is a legendary quad key using the lobby to probably knock new content for super yeah okay i see a legendary choice i take it increase max health by 15 33 percent of your health yeah okay 854 out of 854 hp and now we'll get more choices out of our chests i'm gonna start having trouble telling what's friends or enemies because we're getting a lot of debris and stuff flying around so i'm gonna stick to my strategy of killing things before they have a chance to do anything then we never have to learn the game or develop any skills whatsoever we can also slide as crabs do lose 10 percent of your health for a 25 percent chance to get yeah i'll take that Oh, that actually worked. Fire your deadly shotgun blast along with your shots. Okay. Is that it? Oh yeah, there is a little shotgun blast going out. Uh, I'm having a small trouble finding more enemies. I don't know if I'm supposed to climb up here. Uh, it seems there's an enemy stuck somewhere or something because nothing's happening and I can't find anything. I can, however, hear enemies over there. I hear something walking around. Found him. He was way up here. I don't even know where I am. Give me the loot. Put it in my mouth. Shots do more damage when hip firing, but less damage when aiming. Yeah, I didn't really realize aiming was a thing anyway, so that's okay. A chest containing luck upgrade. I love luck upgrades. That means you get better things moving forward. Die, idiots. Ants? Those aren't crabs. I've been lied to. Uh, we made that one look pretty easy. So these are luck upgrades, huh? Uh, a chance to automatically reload after each elimination sounds kind of fun. Oh, my inventory slots are full. I didn't realize that was a thing. So my perks are full. I have to get rid of one. Well, we're going to get rid of max health increased after 10 one-shot eliminations because that just doesn't seem to happen a lot. So a chance to instantly reload after uh, firing. And I think we can uh, mulch this somehow if we hold X. And $50. Then we're going for damage. Blue crabs. Uh, I think that was me. Enemies come from all sides. It's very disorienting sometimes. Luckily, we're very strong. Like, I don't even know what that was. We just got hit by, like, a mortar, probably from these or something. Uh, grubs. Okay, enormous grubs. Okay, they blow up when shot. Once we get everyone far away in the distance, we just destroy them because of our damage. Let's take shots to more damage, but heavier. That's going to level two. Oh, I don't need health. Uh, we'll take a random chest. Also, I get an extra chest if I don't get hit, which maybe? Depends on if anything spawns near me, really. If they're far away, it's no problem. If they get close, I'm pretty useless. Oh, that was actually really close. Oh, that guy announced his presence by laughing like a moron. What do I expect from his skull? You know, I might actually get away with doing this flawless as I walk right into an idiot. Oh, never mind. That was close. I'm less confident than I was a second ago. So I'm only like a thousand percent sure now I can do this without getting hit. Did I do it? I did do it. Random chest, random chest. Oh, there's an epic. What do we got? Grenades deal more damage. I don't know if I want more grenade damage. So we're going to take shots deal more damage, but recoil is increased. I haven't really noticed recoil at all. And damage increase to distant enemies again. Do we have recoil? Oh, if I aim, there is. Oh, there's a little bit of recoil. That's fine. You know one thing crabs don't care about is recoil. What they do care about is buying nice things. I have room for more weapons mods, so I'm going to do fire rate increase because that's just raw DPS. Like, I'm sure that's going way up. <laughs> there we go up to almost 4,000 DPS if some of my things go off. Chance to fire in an arc shot formation. I don't really know what that means, but we're going to find out. Uh, just the more things that can potentially happen, the better. Eventually, there'll be all sorts of things going off. We're breaking 4,000 DPS. I don't even need any help. Get a random pickup but lose 33% of your health. Well, my inventory is pretty full. I didn't realize I could unlock these with like big amounts of money. 33 million? We've got some saving to do. Do we want speed upgrades? We had, don't have any yet. I don't want some, but I probably need some. Because yeah, yeah, enemies do get close to me and my backwards movement especially is bad. I mean, I can turn and like run away like this. I just like to keep firing at them. Because if I'm doing damage to them, good things are happening. Whoop. Seagulls? Am I hearing seagulls? 
What? Oh, okay, it's just ants. Ants make the same noise as seagulls. You don't know that because they're too small. Ooh, there's a skull thing. Get a random pickup. Good thing I saw this. This totem has exploded and can no longer be used. Damage increased for a short time after eliminating it. Yeah, I already had one of those. That's just a flat old upgrade. You know, I should really explore these levels more because there's another one of those totems that I'm pretty sure just gives me a drop. Shots do more damage when hip firing, less damage when aiming, so that's level 2. How is this for a weapon mod? Increased damage, fire rate, and reload speed. So we gotta drop one of the weapons mods. I'm gonna have to get rid of lightning shot. I don't love that, but it's the weakest of all the existing ones. And uh, we'll go ahead and mulch that. I think between elemental and crit, I want crit. These idiots don't know who they're messing with. The fire rate's gonna be so fast now because we got at least two upgrades for that. Yeah, it feels like we're doing lots of damage. Yeah, we're starting to kind of melt these. For a while, our damage felt a little underpowered. Now it feels a little obnoxious. Oh, look at this guy. Enraged Grub. He exploded almost before I could finish saying Enraged Grub. Uh, we'll do the same for him. We're even for 169 per shot because we're so far away. Are these heals? What's on the ground? Ice Ant. Hi, Ice Ant. Nice to meet you. You're also dead. Any more hidden treasure the game's not telling me about? We can blow up rocks apparently for sometimes loot. That one didn't have any. Okay, so critical stuff. Uh, I don't really want any of these in their weapons mods. And I don't have enough crystals to unlock a new slot. So I'm going to go ahead and mulch one of these. Or whatever we get. Then I need to go for damage upgrades anyway. Because if I get speed ones, I'm likely to step to throw something out. Damages are likely to stack. Oh, hi guys. Thanks for uh, getting right up in my face. That kind of works to my benefit because I'm too lazy to go find you. The real test will be against the next boss. We'll see uh, what kind of damage we're doing there. I love this damage was uh, based on the fact that we started with so much HP too. I could take damage instead of upgrading my health. Still hoping the kind of upgrade exists that gives you more damage or health. Am I surviving? or destroying oh it's just a survival i was trying to kill them all again learn to read kids don't be like me island 18 cleared give me the loot pretty sure i just blew up my shield on a stone that i decided to shoot uh i also already have all of these but i can't open a new one of these so these are weapons mods i mean i could just buy a grenade thing but i'd rather just unlock a weapon slot damage increase to armored enemies which are pretty sure wait didn't i make a spot oh that's a perk i should really i, I just said reading reloading files and arc of powerful projectiles and i basically spent all my money just before arriving in the store so yeah kids read oh that's so fun deal constant damage to nearby enemies there's a perk where shops contain more goods for sale that's also nice i basically need something that's got to be an upgrade so this chance of enemies to drop health pickups i'm level two so there's now a 10 percent chance for enemies to drop health pickups uh dps we can probably Obviously here uh, is still going to 4,000. It depends on how close we are. Plus that happens for a lot of DPS by itself. Yeah, we're hitting 5,000s. Defeat the elite enemy. Which one's the elite? Oh, probably that one. Elite, elite, whatever. Yeah, I'm going to start reading now like an adult. He doesn't seem that bad. I'm kind of melting him. Uh, oh, oh, uh-oh. That's not fair. Uh-oh. What, what happens now? Oh, you're way over there, stupid. That's to my advantage. Ooh, he does do some damage, though. I'll give him that. Oh, we blow up the purple thing. He takes purple damage. Oh, don't fall off the edge again. He came to see me. How nice of him. 50% chance to double max health. 50% chance to have max health. I'm not going to go for that now. I've got too much to risk. Gain 215 crystals, but lose a third of your health. How about no? This one's a green totem. I don't have space in my inventory for it. I feel like that one comes, like, with a curse. I feel like that's not a good one. Again, we're, okay, we're going to start at the healing and key chest. Okay, then I'm going to take the breath heart we're gonna increase our health and 33 percent of our health comes back we got a key for whatever that does an epic and a legendary enemies poison nearby enemies when eliminated that's a legendary perk i'm probably going to have to take that this would have been fun at the beginning damage increase after clearing each island okay i'm gonna get rid of chance to instantly reload after each elimination because that's just a level one now enemies poison all nearby enemies when eliminated that's beautiful and we're on to the volcanic biome uh is there anyone here to fight Okay, well, we're going to start by exploding that thing just to annoy everyone. And then we'll see where we're up again. So far, nothing too insane. Those die. It would be nice if you guys would bunch up so I could poison you all together. But I guess I won't complain with uh, giant explosions either. Another epic piercing wave. Fire slow damaging waves along with your shots. That's a weapon mod. Well, I'm going to replace one of uh, a similar thing, just a rare quality. with an. Uh, so we're basically just upgrading that. We'll, we'll look at it that way. Since I'm feeling plenty healthy, let's go for this shrapnel. Enemies explode in a burst of projectiles when eliminated but we have two times elemental if we win i probably should have read that closer but whatever uh, if they explode in projectiles over there then that's fine okay there we go they're just bouncy balls how hard could that be to avoid and if they'll poison each other they'll just slowly kill each other right they'll poison they'll die they'll poison someone else they'll die some more don't you worry i'm the guy that's got it all figured out 
Ow. My health is up to 904. I don't know where I got that, but I guess I've gotten enough perks now that they're doing all sorts of things that I forgot about. Okay, two chests of elemental. I don't know if I can use any of this stuff at all. So far, I cannot. We're basically looking for anything they can upgrade. I'm not even going to read those because it hurts to know I can't have them. Luckily, I can get crystals for them, so I've got 1,348 to spend on whatever I want. Enemy spawn rings when eliminated. That can't be that bad, but I do get two chests out of this, so I'm gonna do that. I'll either get two rewards or double the money. Oh, I forgot about that thing. Uh, there's also a lot of lava on the outside of these levels, so I need to make some space over by lightning crab. We're old friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here. Lightning crab died quickly. Oh, that's the kind of rings they spawn. I get it. Are these healing spots? What are these? I think those were healings. Ooh, look at all the rings. Okay, I just gotta jump when I kill all of you. And no problem. Now we slide away over to the loot. I mean, there are some cool weapons mods here. Shots knock back enemies. Shots deal more damage. Gain more dashes. Movement speed. Well, I can unlock a weapon slot for 2,000. Why did these all get more expensive? Uh, well, you know what? I'm too strong anyway. I don't need this garbage. Moving on. Survive a horde of enemies. Yeah, story of my life. If the horde wanted to show up, I'd be happy to accept them. Well, there's a slug. There we go. Now we're starting to get some more little guys come toward me. Ooh, look at that big thing. What is that? Poison slug. Have I killed these before? I'm not sure. Ooh, don't go in there. That hurts, but probably hurts. Ow, everything else as well. Okay, things are starting to fall apart, but we're okay. We got it recovered. Really need to remember that those are just survive. Not try and fight them all, just survive. And these are just boring ones, but we're going to the shop where we get some HP back. And we got this one, juice level two, increased damage, fire rate, and reload speed. Yes. Then we reroll because I didn't like anything else. Same again. Do we get the legendary upgrades here? That would be great. I guess chests contain more loot choices. Why not? And how are we feeling these days damage wise? There's 8,000 DPS. <laughs> okay, it's going up. Random chest it is. Hopefully it's legendary. Defeat all the enemies. Well, with the amount of damage we have, I think I think that should be quite doable. We'll let them all get close and then jump over their head. We'll kill whatever this thing is. Wow, okay, you're a bit tougher. Okay, we're gonna move. And we just rain damage. Once your arc shot. Oh, what is that thing? Lightning Skull. Already fought one of those. Uh, suddenly things are way harder though. Like these are armored uh, idiots that definitely absorb some damage. Now we're just onto this big guy. And as we learned from these before, we just stay way over here and we'll eliminate these little guys that'll hopefully even heal us. And my big thing hit him. He dead. 500 HP though, that's definitely getting harder. Shots deal more damage, but recoil is heavily increased. Level 3. Honestly, we'll go for a health chest at this point, because uh, we're going to need a little bit of help probably. Arena, eliminate all the idiots in the arena, got it. Yeah, they're getting very explosive and very quick. Like, I just turn around and I'm surrounded by exploding idiots that hurt. So we we'll try and keep our distance just a little bit. We'll have to try and be more mobile like this. So we'll just lead them this way, turn around and shoot for a second, and then rinse repeat for the next 45 minutes. I did this fire a really big arc shot that was very satisfying because it destroyed everything. And then we'll, uh, on our second pass, pick up the health, unless we run into that thing. What are we, oh, a grenade crab. Okay, we got all sorts of things coming in that are going to be damaged. Uh, I think I might have found a bit of a cheap strategy that I could use because every once in a while I fire that big uh, arc thing, that, and I think that goes through like obstacles and everything. So I could really just hide behind obstacles mostly and fire those in the direction of enemies. It would be slow, but I think would just kill them. But it is also less fun than me to straight up exploding them all like this. Hey, you guys like grenades? Have some grenades. Took a little bit more damage, so hopefully we'll get some health stuff. Perfect. Max health increased by 50, heals 33%, up to 774. I'm feeling invincible. Now we're into survival, so let's get uh, established on where the edge of the level is. This is a small arena. This is not going to be very easy to survive. All right, well, let's see if we can get them going in a big circle where I can hopefully start dodging them. Puffer fish are easy to start. And once I get things exploding and poisoning each other that's gonna make me feel better uh -oh. but for now we're just gonna keep working in a counterclockwise position like when they're all bunched up like that they're not so bad it's when they sneak up behind me it's the sneaky crabs that are the tough ones 28 seconds left and we're just gonna keep on going like that and every once in a while i fire that big uh that thing that really messes them up you know this is a lot easier when i simplify like this and just start pulling them around in circles on the outside though i have lost a lot of health yeah that's a trend that can't go on though i'm pretty much invincible island 28 cleared i did not do that flawlessly but i did it and the mantra of my life good enough for me uh, increase critical hits by grenades. What do I get for salvaging these? Well, I'm going to salvage you. Back to the shop. We're up to 3,000 crystals, so we're definitely getting more the later we get into the game. Get a random legendary pickup and lose 50% of your max health. I might do that if I had a ton of HP. Shots create a burst of damaging sparks on impact. That's now level 2. Then we're going to go ahead and upgrade. Okay, I'm going to grab some armor plates. They reduce elemental damage and blah blah blah. Plus, they increase my damage. If you look in the lower left, I have three armor plates currently in blue. 
And that's <laughs> put my DPS up. I think I just saw 13,000. Target dummy. I think I saw 12, 13. I don't know what it was. It was big. And defeat the boss. King Skull. Really original name. Uh, okay, so far he's, well, not that scary. I've already taken off an eighth of his health, and we're just gonna keep on chewing it down from there. Oh, I gotta dodge stuff? That's what I don't do well. I just wanna fire at you. I'm a very uh, immobile crab right now, can you not? Ooh, that's not great. I think I got this armor plate, so I think they actually reduce elemental damage, and this feels very elementally. Oh, you brought a friend, that's adorable. Bring your child to work day, but I'm gonna kill the child first. It actually just makes a really big ring, this works to my advantage. It's annoying how they can hit me back here though too, I thought this is me uh, using it to my advantage, but they're actually kind of using it to theirs. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the old fire skull, uh, because he's just not helping, he keeps knocking me around more than anything, and I do need to be able to move. Now for the other big idiot, we are going to find him momentarily, there he is. I really should be a little more careful than I am, because health is getting lower and lower, but... We're gonna get some good damage on him now, keep firing. Once I get the hits on him, it's, he really drops quickly. Especially when that thing hits him too. And I should be more diligent about actually, you know, dodging damage. Oh, a new skull. Outstanding, just what I wanted. Okay, we're gonna weave our way through around the things. I don't know which one to focus on at this point. Oh, there's two little skulls. Okay, maybe this big boy. We'll get him killed nice and quick. Okay, we got King Skull almost dead. I'm mostly avoiding or ignoring the little skulls for now. Because I really think I just have it figured out now. I just gotta keep moving when they attack. Just get way out of the way. Turn around and shoot some more. Island 30 cleared. Well, his children had to watch him die. But key, 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 key. Chests. Chests out here? Oh, key in the lava. Thank you. That's so nice of you. Why would I need loot now? Isn't that it? Oh, legendary. Oh, and I have this. This is double legend. Oh, I thought there was in this chest. I would have checked the rest of those. Bronze armor it is. Uh, Crab Island celebrate victory. Loop back to the biome with harder enemies. I need to go back and upgrade my stuff. Crab Island victory. Now we're a crab with a crown. Oh, we didn't do a million damage. We could do better. 